Hello, so are you facing the OpenAI's rate limit error that says 429? If so, then you're on the correct video because in this video, I'm going to show you seven different ways to troubleshoot this error. And then I'm also going to give you a secret bonus tip at the end. So this tutorial is specifically for make.com and OpenAI, but even if you're using custom code or some other app, then also this video would be relevant for you. So stick till the very end and I'm pretty sure this video will solve all your issues. So hello everybody, my name is Yashika Jain. I'm the founder of Automate's AI. At Automate's AI, we build automated systems for businesses that use the power of AI. And being an AI automation agency owner, I use OpenAI's API literally every single day. And this error is quite common. And in the beginning, when I used to get this error, I used to freak out. But then I figured out and here I am making a video on it. And the secret bonus tip that I'm going to tell you, you won't find that anywhere else. So let's begin. So OpenAI limits the number of tokens that you can spend in one minute. And if you surpass that limit, then you get this error that is called the rate limit error. So number of tokens that you spend in one minute. What are tokens? You can think of tokens as text characters. And four English text characters are somehow equivalent to one token. So if in your prompt you have A, B, C, D, then that is equal to one token but you don't need to worry about that, okay? So what actually uh, computes your total token consumption? So it's your input prompt, your knowledge files, and your output. Wherever you're using text, whenever you're inputting something or getting something, that all computes to your total token consumption. So let's say OpenAI said that you cannot use more than 10,000 tokens in one minute, but you used 12,000 tokens right then you're gonna get the 429 rate limit error okay so now let's understand what are the factors on which it depends so firstly it depends on the ai model that you're using and secondly it depends on your accounts usage tier don't worry about it i'll talk more when we will be troubleshooting the error so i hope you understood why you're getting this error now let's solve it so firstly, um, I have embedded a link here. So make sure to click on this link and go to the website, right? I have the link to this entire document in my description. So you can just open that up and go to this particular link. This will be handy as we will be solving the issue. Okay, so the first way to troubleshoot this error that is quite common is to change the OpenAI model that you're using. For example, if you're using GPT-4, then you can switch to GPT-4 O Mini that gives you even more token, you know, consumption limit. So if you come to the link that I just now mentioned in my doc, then you will see that every model has a different token limit. For example, GPT-4 O allows you to spend only 30,000 tokens per minute, but GPT-4 O Mini helps you spend 200,000 tokens per minute. So the best solution to your problem could be to just switch to the model that is giving you the maximum token limit amount. You can click on this uh, show all mo models and then kind of um, explore all of those. But what I generally do is I switch between GPT-4 O and GPT-4 O Mini. So 4 O Mini for all the small tasks and then 4 O for kind of advanced tasks. So if changing the model solves your problem, then awesome. If not, we can move to the next one. The second option could be to change the maximum completion tokens parameter. So there is a parameter that is called maximum completion tokens and that is available when you're custom coding or even if you're using a no code platform, it's going to give you a place to add the maximum tokens limit. So this is generally for people who don't want to spend, you know, um, let's say more than $20. So they kind of restrict the number of tokens that OpenAI can use. But in your case, you're already facing restrictions. And in that case, you don't want to put more restrictions to it. So simply go there and leave it empty or you can set it to the maximum amount. So I have the spelling wrong here. I'm going to correct that after the video. But yeah, so let's say that you're using GPD-4 O Mini and it gives you an allowance of 200,000 tokens. So what you could do is you could either leave this parameter as empty or you can set it up to 200,000. I personally like to leave it empty. So in the case of make.com, I'm going to show you how this works. 
So this is an automation that creates social media posts automatically and then this is one of the OpenAI modules that is the chat completion module and if you scroll down you will see this parameter that says maximum completion tokens so either leave it empty set it to zero or set it to the maximum level okay don't go anywhere in between don't try to keep it at 2000 4000 because that's the reason why you're getting the error right so yeah just keep um, that in mind and if you you still are facing the issue then let's go to the third point the third point is quite obvious cut down on your tokens so let's say that your input prompt is very very long so what you can do is you can go to chat GPT and tell it to kind of shorten or summarize your prompt so that you're saying more in less words okay also if you're repeating something in your prompt two to three times then kind of remove that because that is that is costing you tokens and getting you the error Apart from that, if you're using knowledge base or the file search capability, try and delete a few files that are unnecessary or that are like too long. Since tokens also depend on the output, you can also ask your AI model to give you shorter outputs or, you know, avoid unnecessary explanations. Because we all know ChatGPT loves to explain everything. So you could just tell it to be, to, to stick to the point and, you know, not elaborate on everything. So if you do this, this is also going to help you um, surpass this error. So if you watched this video carefully, I said that the token limit is per minute. Okay. So if you're getting like, uh, if your model allows 200,000 tokens, then that is per minute. If you add a time delay, then you can actually double your um, limitation. For example, in one minute, if you're getting 10,000, then in two minutes, you get 20,000. Simple math. So if you're using custom code, you can just add in a delay of let's say 60 seconds or if you're using a no code platform like Make, then you can use their module um, that, are, that allow you to kind of um, stop the automation at a point and then after 60 seconds, it's going to continue. So let me show you how. So this is the same automation and um, all of these modules kind of run in one minute and you might get an error for that. So what you can do is you can put time delays between two OpenAI modules. So you can just click on add a module and here you can search for sleep and then you can select the sleep module and enter a delay of 60 seconds. Okay, so now what's going to happen is that this module is going to run, then we're going to stop for 60 seconds, then your limit is going to go to zero, and then you again get all of your tokens. Okay, then you can similarly add a 60 second delay between all of your OpenAI modules. This will work for you for sure um, because some people might not be able to cut down on their prompt. Uh, maybe they're dealing with large data. So in that case, this works pretty fine and I literally use it in every single automation. So the next one is the break module and this is for make.com only. So basically, this is an error handler module. So let's say that your OpenAI module got that 429 error. Then what this would do is it's going to stop the automation then and there and it's going to retry the automation again to see if you're able to surpass that and if it works pretty fine. So you can add the number of retries that you want. For example, let's say you want to run the automation three times um, in case you're getting this error or um, you want to add a delay, right? But I usually don't use this module because I don't want it to run again and again because also the cost um, of make it's going to cost you more to run it again and again. But yeah, this is one of the possibilities. The next one is sequential processing again for make only. And this only works if you have an instant trigger. So an instant trigger is basically as soon as the data comes, your automation starts. If that is your automation, only then this is going to work. So basically you have to turn on the sequential processing in the scenario settings. I'm going to show you how. So this is the automation. What you want to do is you want to come to scenario settings and turn sequential processing as yes. So I'll explain the logic behind it. So let's say you have an instant trigger. So as soon as data comes, your automation runs. Um, but let's say the server sent 400 requests at a time. Then obviously you're going to get errors from OpenAI because you will obviously be surpassing their one minute limit, right? So what this particular setting would do is it wouldn't run all the 400 100 requests in one go okay so it's going to run them one by one so first it would run the first one then the second 
second and the third obviously it's going to take time on make side of things but at least you won't get the error right so that's one of them and also the break module that i talked about you can find it in um flow control and then this one okay so you can set it up and connect it to the module that you're getting the error with now we are at almost the last one before the bonus and this is using the chunking method or the chain prompting method now this is a little advanced and the normal people who don't use this stuff a lot might not understand but if you are someone who knows this then you can also use chunking or chain prompting so that is basically um kind of cutting down or breaking down your process into multiple chains and kind of chunking your inputs so that you don't um surpass the one minute token limit also if you want i can put a dedicated video on this because this is like an advanced topic and i might cover it in a new in a whole new video instead of covering it here so yeah let me know in the comments below or you might just watch someone else's video on chain prompting or chunking and learn how to do that again it's going to take you time now it brings me to the bonus tip and the bonus tip the secret tip is to reach out to open ai yes you heard me right so i'm going to tell you a story so um i had this client and he wanted to set up an automation that processes huge data okay and we started a new account for him so he was obviously a very new user of openai and openai did not allow him to use a lot of tokens and obviously the automation needed much more tokens than um openai was allowing us so what we did is we reached out to um openai and um we reached out to their customer support and we requested an increase or you can say an upgrade on our limits so they asked us um to confirm why we needed it what our project was about and much more it took about 2 to 3 business days but we finally had that so if you go to the link that i had um told you to then you will be able to see your usage tier okay now usage tier is based on the amount that you spend uh, spend on openai so if you spend more than $50 then you will be upgraded to tier 2 and your limits will increase but obviously someone would not be comfortable to invest money into openai just for increasing the tokens right so what you can do is you can go to help and you can message the customer support with your project details you can tell them why it's necessary for you and they are going to help you increase your token limits So I hope that helped, and that is why everybody's, um, you know, this particular page is different. So if I have like a two hundred thousand token uh, limit, then you might have something else. It's different for everybody depending on their usage tier and how much they have spent on OpenAI. For example, for the AI automation agencies that use this a lot, they literally have tier seven, tier eight, right? And they have huge limits because they're working on huge projects. So this is um a demo account that I have for my YouTube content only. But again, on my real account, my usage tier is much more. Yeah, so that's all that I wanted to cover in this video. Apart from that. If you're using OpenAI's API with Make, then I would encourage you to watch this video where I guide you through the entire process of using it. I'm going to tell you how to connect it, how to put in the prompts, um what practices to use and kind of take you through each and every module um that Make provides for OpenAI. I'll make sure to link it here in the i button. So I hope you've solved your problem by now and you are not getting that error anymore because there are no other methods that you can use to solve this error and if you did then let me know in the comments below and let me know which method worked for you because every time I see a comment um saying that this video was helpful then I kind of get a smile on my face so if you want me to smile just let me know in the comments below Also if you would like to work with me let's say um you want to have AI automations for your business or you're working on a project and you need my assistance then you can check out the link to my website in the description below and I would be more than happy to work with you Apart from that if you're looking for my consultancy for example you want to get on a call with me let's say for 60 minutes and you want to show me a few things that you've built out or any error that you're getting or you want to improve something then again i have a link to book a call with me for 60 minutes in the description below also do you want to know a secret i am starting my own school community So basically all that I know would be taught within the community and you will get direct access to me. So yeah, I'm still working on that. As soon as I launch, I will let you know on YouTube. 
So consider subscribing and please like the video if you really liked it. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye!